Almost on a weekly basis, we see celebrities ball out with insane purchases from homes, cars, and of course, a fan favorite, bling. <laughs> I wish I had so much money that I didn't know what to do with it that I decided to get Bart Simpson bling the F out. Hi, Columba. But sometimes these chains and pendants are in memory of loved ones or to commemorate albums, but a lot of the time they're just a stunt, which is a whole lot of fun. Last week we dropped part two for 2020 and in there we talked about Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Baby, Ski Mask, The Slum God, and a few other artists, but you guys showed so much love for part one and part two, plus sent us so many comments about other artists we should have included so I'm back with a part three. What's going on guys? It's your girl Azalea Hart back on Before They Were Famous. I've been helping Michael out hosting a few videos each week and I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support in the comments. I really do appreciate it. I know I get some of the pronunciations wrong sometimes, but damn, I'm sorry. If you want to connect with me though, be sure to hit me up over on Instagram, leave some suggestions for when I make part four, and let's get into this video. First up at number five, we have Drizzy Drake and his Tupac pieces that took over 150 hours to make. Remember when Drake bought that less Drake, more Pac neon light to hang in his Toronto condo while his mansion was being built? He bought it at an art showing in LA and said his heart dropped when he saw it, and initially he was filled with anger and wanted to rip it down. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? But then he looked at it from a different perspective and he said, you know what? That's my name up there. I'm representative of this generation and this guy loved Pac so much to make this piece and that's fucking amazing. He went on to say that he hopes someday someone will make a piece like that for him, but it'll say less whatever and more Drake. Years later, bring it to 2020, in honor of Pac, Drake went to Jason of Beverly Hills to get two 70 karat diamond chains with pendants that look similar to a Jesus piece, but of course, of Tupac's head instead. Both pendants are made with about half a kilo of gold. One pendant is rocking a blue bandana that uses white gold and diamonds, and the other is a red bandana with natural yellow diamonds and yellow gold. On both, the horns, nose ring, tears, and earrings are all completely blinged out. The price tag? 300,000 each. That wasn't all he got though, he also added a 75 karat ski mask cupid chain. Drake posted the image on Instagram rocking his new chain with the caption, gotta get up and be somebody. The duo of the chain and the pendant is valued at $500,000, the ski mask cupid is $300,000 on its own and is made up of more than half a kilo of gold with 75 carats of diamond. The rope chain that is breathtaking features both gold and black links. Moving on to the number four spot, we have Glizok with his extremely iced out Bart Simpson. Bart, when he did dope. Mm. Now, not only is Bart diamonds from head to toe, he's also rocking J's. Made by Elliot Aliante, Glizok also picked up a name piece. Both pieces have white and yellow diamonds with matching chain linked yellow and white gold diamond encrusted chains. Even Bart's teeth are diamonds. With his Bart Simpson piece, he's paying homage to Gucci Mane, who was the first to rock it in the early 2000s, and then Lil Yachty and Rich the Kid got one too. There isn't much info out there on the cost of this chain, but Lil Yachty's piece has an estimated cost of around 250K. And based on other pieces that Elliot has done, I would say that's about right. Come on, bro. So who's Bart Simpson was better? Comment down below. Next up at number three, we got Alyssa Danielle, AKA Yummy Yellow, girlfriend of the late Pop Smoke with her tribute chain. She shared the first look of her custom chain on her Instagram page with a caption, spaghetti, spaghetti, Pop know my body. Still giving him how. I wouldn't have you around my neck any other way, Wooski. Shout out to Benny the Jeweler. You took your time with this one. Go download Pop's album right now. Benny the Jeweler crafted this pendant and necklace and Yummy Yellow wouldn't have it any other way because he had a relationship with Pop. So before he passed, Benny actually worked on two pieces for him. The tribute chain features a 14 karat white gold pendant with a hand painted portrait of Pop Smoke surrounded by 11 carats of diamonds with a matching baguette chain made up of square, oval, and raindrop shapes accented by 17 carats of diamond. Pop's closest friends at Forever Smoke Entertainment, the record label fanned by Pop's brother, Mike D, alongside four others also got custom woo pieces with a shooting star. One is rose gold and the other four are yellow gold covered with 20 carats of VS diamonds and retailing at around $18,000 each. According to TMZ, the bling represents rising above adversity as well as shooting for the stars and aiming for the moon, the title of Pop Smoke's album. What an amazing way to pay homage to someone you love. Now Yummy Yellow also celebrated her birthday recently and got some more gifts by her fave, Benny the Jeweler, diamonds on diamonds on diamonds, obviously her girl's best friend. 
a two-toned yellow and white gold diamond encrusted necklace, another all-white gold and diamond necklace with a matching bracelet, a diamond bracelet with yellow and it looks like pink diamonds with the white gold diamond band, and of course, a pair of clustered diamond earrings. Whew, me next. Coming in at the number two spot on the list, we have a thoughtful gift that anyone would love to receive. Drake gifted ASAP Rocky a diamond encrusted pendant to honor the late ASAP Yams. This is of course by Drake's go-to jeweler, Jason of Beverly Hills. It's said that the piece took more than three months to complete and features 500 grams of gold, 15 carats of diamonds, and detailed enamel work to really capture ASAP Yams in his signature look. That Kuji sweater detail is impeccable. There's also the diamond headband, his birthmark, face tattoo, and double cup, which are all things ASAP Yams. When ASAP Rocky received it at Yams Day 2020, he was smiling from ear to ear and couldn't stop looking at it. In the box, he also got some of ASAP Yams' most notable tweets. Drake and Jason of Beverly Hills really went all in on the details, and that is one of the most important things when gifting anything to anyone. It's all about the little details. Remember that. Similar chains go for anywhere around 150 to 200K. Drake also recently gifted 21 Savage with an OVO owl pendant made by Jason Beverly Hills to commemorate 21 Savage's new album and of course, their song together. Can Drake be my friend? It features solid gold throughout with over 25 carats of flawless round and emerald cut diamonds. Finally, wrapping things up in the number one spot, we have 6ix9ine with his shark piece that everyone and their mama is talking about. Fish are friends. Not food. Now I love Finding Nemo, but I never thought I'd see Bruce iced out like this. According to 6ix9ine, the chain is worth $750,000. I mean, that's one way to come back on the scene. The teeth alone cost 80K, not including the 9.40 carats in black diamonds in the back of the mouth. He got it made through Jimmy Fan of Houston, Texas, aka Jimmy Boy at Dunright & Co. The story of it goes that 6 9 called him when he was in jail and asked him if he would want to make a piece of a great white shark. The reason behind the great white is because he's the king of the ocean and he's the one everyone fears and that's how 6 9 was feeling at the time. And well, I guess still does. Apparently the jeweler said 6 9 said it was between the great white or a rat. The piece took about a month and a half to complete. The necklace weighs almost three kilos of gold and the diamond weight on the chain is about 135 carats in diamonds and baguette and round diamonds. That concludes today's top five video for Robert Chains for 2020. Who is your number one? That Bruce Finding Nemo chain is pretty crazy, I can't lie. Who do you want to see in a part four? Comment down below and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe and I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!